Okay, you, I'm going you to taste, taste this. I'm not even going to use a fork. I'm just going to do it like this. I hope this is approved, Foster. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're here at Lock 20 on the Trent Severin. All these boats are lined up to get ready to lock through. Um, the lock doesn't open until nine o'clock and they don't ma uh, man the radios. So you have to just line up here on the blue line and wait. And then the dock master will, or the lock master will come down and tell you in which ones are going on the first run, which ones on the second run. So. We're just hanging out here. It is uh, 8.50 on Saturday, August the 6th, 2022. And uh, they don't start operating the lock until nine o'clock. And like I said, there's several boats lined up trying to get through and they'll probably only take, you know, two big boats and maybe that little pontoon boat or maybe that boat back there um, on the first run. And then once we get through the first run and get, get underway, then the second group will come in and there'll be space behind us. So whoever we go into the lock with at this lock, we will remain with them till the end of the day until either we stop or they stop. It'll be the same group uh, each lock through. And we've got, let me see, 10, 10 locks to go through today and about 31 miles. So when we first start out, uh, they're going to be like within a mile of each other. I think we've got like seven locks in nine miles, and then we've got a, a little bit longer stretch. So that's what we're doing this morning. You want me to take the starboard side front? Yep. All right. That's the way we did the last lock. valves and we're going for a ride. Look how fast we're moving. This is cool. This is way cool. See how high it's already lifted us in about a minute. This is way cool. Just about there. We're here, folks. They'll lower this, this gate in front of us way below the bottom of the boat and once we get to the same water level as as the other side and uh, they'll drop that gate and we'll drive over and on we go
the island church. The only way you can get to that church is by boat. What do you have there? I have in my hand here a famous Canadian delicacy. It is a delectable, delicious, or so I'm told, butter tart. But this uh, particular butter tart is a maple bacon butter tart, and it is from a uh, local uh, diner here. We are in Fenelon Falls, correct me if I'm wrong. Fenelon Falls, and the the, uh, the the place it came from is called the Cow and Sow. So that is the, that's the butter tart. And I'm told these things are very juicy when you, when you uh, cut into them. So Sharon and I are going to uh, share this thing and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's dripping. Probably should've got a plate. Probably so. So there we go. That is the Canadian butter tart, and one of, and it's a maple bacon flavor. So there's one for Sharon and one for me. Okay, and you, I'm going you to taste, taste this. I'm not even going to use a fork. I'm just going to do it like this. I hope this is approved, Foster. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maple bacon. So, Foster, I hope you give this approval, and we'll we'll look forward to your comment later on. All right, well, we're here with Shane and Brandy, and Sharon and I here, we're at the falls, which is uh, the dam overflow here at Finland Falls, Canada, Ontario, Canada. And we just had a good meal here. What's the name of this place? The Locker. The Locker, the Locker. And it's, uh, it's Waterside. I'll get my head in here in a minute. It's my dad. <laughs> I'll cover you up. Okay. There you go. Okay. But we've had a great time here, and we're going to go for ice cream now. So we'll show you a picture of that too. Well, Sharon and I are here in Finland Falls, as you can see the sign that back there behind us. And uh, this is our second night and our last night here. And uh, we got us some ice cream. Ice cream. Kawartha ice cream. This stuff is awesome. But Finland Falls has not disappointed, and we've had a great time here. And we're going to be leaving early in the morning, and we're headed towards Aurelia. But we won't get there tomorrow. It's a little bit too far for us to go. But we will uh, we'll tie up on what is called the jetty wall, and uh, we'll spend the night there, and then we'll go on to Aurelia the next day. Well, we got away from Finland Falls this morning about uh, 15 minutes ago, right at 6 o'clock, and uh, we're making our way across uh, Cameron Lake right now, and uh, we've got a, a lock coming up. We're trying to time it so that we get it to lock right about the time they open at 9 today, so uh, we're doing that. The destination today is a place called Jetty Walls, and it's just a, it's actually a big concrete pier out in the middle of the lake but it's a safe place for us to stay tonight and uh, we will uh, get ourselves set up to go across Lake Simcoe tomorrow, which can be kind of tricky and ugly and we'll get our chance, uh, give ourselves a chance to uh, evaluate the weather and the winds and so on and so forth. And uh, we'll go on to Aurelia tomorrow. So uh, that's the objective. And uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around. It's a little hazy. I want you to see that. Uh, not not too bad, but uh, I can see where I'm going. I've got my charts all set up. So there you go. A little hazy, a little misty, a little windy. That's the conditions we're on right now. It'll, it'll all clear up here in a little while. In, we are in Beaverton, Ontario, Canada, and we are sleeping under 
a bridge. I know, I know. Life's hard. Only the best for you, baby. That's right.